Greetings, O-Doers. After creating, editing, and structuring our release schedule, the time has come to share it. We're going to explore the multiple sharing options in Knowledge. One key element of the share feature in Knowledge is the sidebar tree, which reflects an article's visibility for users. Sharing an article means controlling its visibility and searchability. Without further ado, let's dive in. So first, let's see the share settings by opening our Knowledge app going to our article and clicking on the share menu. So here, the default access rights setting determines how users interact with an article. Can they edit? Can they just read? Or do they have no access at all? Once we select can edit or can read, the visibility setting appears. This one determines what users can see and search for. So if we select everyone, our release schedule will be visible and searchable to all users in our database. With the visibility focused just on members, we can define which user can access it in the sidebar tree versus which must search for it. Let's put it into practice. So if we set the default access rights to can read and the visibility to members, and then we can add Domenico as our user who is going to be invited and give him edit access. And this means that while other users can only read the article, invited users can edit it as these specific access rights override the default access rights. To have a better idea of this specific case, I got the credentials of some of my colleagues, starting with Domenico. So we'll switch to his profile. You can see here that we're logged in as Domenico. And if we go to his knowledge app, we have that article. And if we click on share, we can see that we have the edit access here. This is why he sees the article in the workspace category. Now, if we log in as Charlotte, however, and we go to her knowledge, we see that she does not have the article displayed in the sidebar. So remember when I told you about having to search for an article? This is going to be the case here. Let me show you. So Charlotte can press Control K to open the command palette. However, if she types this week's release, she won't be able to see it either. Though the article is accessible, because her default right is set to can read, it is still hidden. This is because we previously set the visibility for just members. Therefore, only members can see it in their sidebar. To find hidden articles, we simply type the dollar sign in the command palette, and the system lists all the hidden articles. Our release schedule here has a note saying that this article is only displayed to its members. So to become a member, we can simply click Join. However, Charlotte keeps her default right and can only read it because unlike Domenico, she has not been invited to edit it. We'll go back to my user here. We can see we're logged in as Dallas. And that's it for the invited users. But next, let's discuss another type of user. In the first video in this tutorial series, I mentioned the shared category in the sidebar tree. So far, we haven't been able to see it, and this is because the shared category displays articles for users with specific access rights. To grant access to only specific users, the default access rights must be set to no access. And that way, only the users that we're going to invite can access the release schedule. So let's remove Charlotte and Domenico so we can take a look at this. We're going to only give access to Domenico here. And he does have that can edit access and will invite it. And now we go back to his profile. We can reload. And we see there it is. He sees the shared category because he's the only one who has been invited to read or edit and search for these, this release schedule. Finally, we also have the option to generate a shareable URL of our release schedule. In the share menu, all we need to do is to activate this share to web toggle, and then we can copy the URL. Keep in mind that we need the website app installed to generate a URL. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you understand the nuances of sharing an article in knowledge. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you next time.